This training video provides the installation steps for the Avigilon Unity H6A and H6X bullet camera models. The bullet camera models are available in two sizes, a short bullet and a long bullet. This video will demonstrate the installation steps using the short bullet camera model. From our flagship H6A and new H6X camera lines, these cameras feature our next generation video analytics to help accelerate response times. Important safety information is detailed in the camera installation guide. The installation guide can be downloaded from the Vigilon website. Before installation, we recommend reviewing the installation guide for important safety information and precautions when working on this equipment. This camera can be pre-configured in its shipping box. For more information regarding this topic, refer to the information guide or the supplementary video. Ensure the packages are intact and there are no signs that the camera has been dropped or scratched. Ensure the camera package includes an Avigilon H6 bullet camera, a mounting template sticker, a solid wall anchoring kit, a T20 pin and star-shaped driver, a junction box, a wall plate, a terminal block, an I.O. terminal block, a half-inch conduit adapter, cable grommets, and a grommet piercing cap. Ensure you have a Phillips screwdriver, a drill with bits, and a wire crimping tool and silicone sealant to complete the installation. These tools are not included in the package. Note that the H6A short bullet camera model will be shown for this installation video. When installing an Avigilon video analytics camera, there are mounting and aiming recommendations to maximize the camera's analytic capabilities. For more details, see the Designing a Site for Video Analytics document or the supplementary video. Avigilon recommends installing the optional SD cards into their corresponding slots before installing the camera in its desired location. For more information on this topic, see the installation guide or the supplementary video. Let's install the junction box first. When installing the junction box, the cables for the camera can be accessed through either an entry hole in the wall or from a side conduit entry into the junction box. Let's review the steps to install the junction box through an entry hole in the wall. Use the mounting template to drill four mounting holes into the mounting surface. Next, drill the cable entry hole into the mounting surface. Then, pull the required cables through the cable entry hole. Fasten the junction box to the mounting surface and pull the cables through. Note that applying silicone sealant around the edge of the junction box is recommended to prevent moisture from entering the mounting surface. Hook the camera onto the junction box. In the following segment, let's look at the steps to install the junction box with wiring from a side conduit entry into the junction box. Use the template to drill four mounting holes into the mounting surface. Secure the wall plate using the mounting holes. Next, secure the conduit pipe in place using a pipe clamp. A half inch, three quarter inch, or flex conduit pipe may be used depending on the installation. Pull the cables through the conduit pipe. Wrap the excess cable length around the highlighted cable hooks. Fasten the cable with a zip tie. Next, pull the cables through the junction box and fasten the junction box to the mounting surface. Note that applying silicone sealant around the edge of the junction box is recommended to prevent moisture from entering the mounting surface. Hook the camera onto the junction box. Let the camera hang. The next segment will overview the steps to connect the cables from the junction box to the camera. Before connecting any cables, ensure that the connections are adequately protected from moisture and corrosion. Ensure the protective cable boot is installed over the Ethernet port to protect the connection from dust and moisture. If external input or output devices are part of the installation, connect the devices to the camera's digital I.O. connector cables. If an external microphone or speaker is required, connect the devices to the camera's audio I.O. cables. Use the piercing cap on the Ethernet cable and push it through the grommet. 
Thread the cable through the junction box here and sit the grommet in the cable hole of the junction box as shown. Then, connect a network cable to the Ethernet port. The link LED indicator will turn on once a network link has been established. Power must be connected using power over Ethernet or external power. If PoE is available, the camera LEDs will turn on. External power may be connected using an external 12 volt DC to the terminal block. Be careful not to connect power to the audio input cable. Doing so will permanently damage the camera. The audio input and auxiliary power cables are brown. To distinguish the aux power cable, it is labeled aux power and has a thicker gauge. The H6A and H6X camera models can simultaneously connect to an external aux power supply and a power sourcing equipment device. The camera models, however, will respond differently if they lose power from the aux power supply. If an H6X camera loses power from the preferred aux power supply, the camera is capable of a seamless failover. Refer to the installation guide for more information on this topic. Secure the camera to the mounting bracket once all the cable connections have been made. Tuck the extra lengths of cables into the cable entry hole. Secure the camera to the mounting bracket by raising the camera until it covers the mounting bracket. Then, use the camera mounting screws to fasten the camera to the bracket. Next, let's configure the camera by accessing the camera's control panel. Use the supplied T20 pin-in star-shaped driver to unscrew the configuration panel cover. Remove the cover from the configuration panel. If the USB Wi-Fi adapter application is required, attach it to the camera's USB-C port to access the camera's mobile web interface. For more information about configuring the camera from the mobile web interface, see the Avigilon USB Wi-Fi Adapter System User Guide or reference the Avigilon USB Wi-Fi Adapter video. Reference the camera's live stream to aim the camera. Let's review the steps to aim the camera. Loosen the adjustment screws on the camera mount arm to aim the camera. Rotate and move the camera and mount the arm as required. To use the camera in portrait mode instead of landscape mode, rotate the camera. Ensure the sun shroud is not installed during this step. Next, remove the sun shroud from the camera. Note that the sun shroud should only be removed when the camera is installed indoors and space is limited. Use a T20 pin-in star-shaped driver to remove the screw located here. Remove the sun shroud from the camera. Rotate the camera here to use portrait mode instead of landscape mode. Once the camera has been rotated to the desired image mode, tighten the adjustment screw here. Then, reinstall the sun shroud back onto the camera. Use a T20 pin-in star-shaped driver to screw on the sun shroud mount here. Once the camera is in the desired position, tighten the corresponding adjustment screws on the mount arm as shown here. Adjust the camera's image and display settings in the camera's web browser interface or the Avigilon Unity video software. The zoom position, focus, and image rotation may be set here. In the following segment, let's look at enabling the optional microphone feature on the H6A short bullet camera models. The camera features an internal microphone and includes a switch to physically enable or disable the microphone. The microphone switch is set to off by default. It's recommended that the microphone be enabled before installing the camera in its final location. As shown here, slide the switch from the default off position to on to enable the microphone. Configure the microphone or line level audio input on the camera web interface or in the software. For more information on configuring the microphone, refer to the camera's installation guide. If the device no longer functions as expected, it may be reset to its factory default settings. For models that feature an SD card slot, resetting the camera will not affect the video that has been recorded to the SD card. For in-depth instructions on how to reset the camera to factory default settings, refer to the supplementary video or the installation guide. Once the camera has been reset, screw the configuration panel cover back into place. This completes the installation steps for the Avigilon H6A and H6X short bullet camera models.